Hey everybody, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your support. Um, before I get started, if you're new and haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hit like, subscribe, and notification. And that way you'll be sure to get notified whenever a new video goes up. <clears throat> so on my journey to get a new cartridge, I discovered a couple of really cool accessories that I wanted to tell you about. Um, recently, my Dino 110 was starting to show its age. I started to notice a little drop in quality. I wanted to upgrade it. I decided on the Henna SL, um, which is on the turntable now. It only has a couple of hours of break-in, so there will be no sound comparisons uh, for a little while, and the review of this will be a little ways away, but um, very excited about this cartridge. It sounds great so far. Um, one thing that I wanted to do and make sure of was that I kept track of the time on the cartridge. And this new device, it's called the Stylus Timer, is really cool. Um, it's an odometer for your turntable. You can mount it right next to your turntable in a convenient place, and it counts the hours you put on your stylus. Basically, you just start it when you drop the stylus, stop it when you lift the stylus, and it keeps a running log of how many hours are on the cartridge. Um, if you notice, it doesn't have minutes and seconds, which are really not necessary. When you first start it, it's only going to show zeros until it passes one hour, the one hour mark, and then you're going to start seeing hours. And it can display up to 9,999 hours. Most cartridge manufacturers recommend 500 to 1,000 hours, maybe more on certain cartridges. Uh, you want to find out what that number is and keep track of it on this. Um, this is going to be a great reviewer's tool uh, for me so I can keep track of break-in time. Um, you know, the HANA is said to be 30 to 50 hours of break-in time. So I will know when the changes occur with this device. And I think that's a great thing. Um, the item is available for only $20 on Amazon. Um, I'm going to leave a link below. But in the, in the world of accessories um, for audio, which are always grossly overpriced, this is a really fair price for a great device, and I can highly recommend it. So if you're interested, check out the link below. You, you know, um, you'll be helping out the channel if you use the link. Um, the second item is from DS Audio, and it's a stylus cleaner, ST50. This was recommended to me by uh, the dealer that installed the HANA. And um, I went ahead and got it on Amazon. And it's a uh, resin-based or gel-based type of device where you dip the stylus into it. Um, the nice thing about this is how well machined the, the, the box is. It's like a machined metal. And then that's the polymer there. And um, it has a leather backing here, which is great because it doesn't slip when it's on the turntable. It's also very slim design. So when you're moving your tone arm over, there's no chance of the stylus hitting the side with, as it could with some of the taller versions of this type of d design. Um, very well thought out. Uh, of course, the first time you use it, you always want to check that when your cueing lever is up, that it's not going to hit when it comes over. So once you do determine that, you just uh, move the stylus over it, drop it in. You're going to see it sink just a little bit. Raise it up and do it a couple times if you wish. And it's going to pull all the gunk off your stylus. Um, this polymer was developed for special application in clean rooms. Um, it was adapted for use in this device. So very nice, uh, very elegant solution to this problem. Before that, I was using the LP9 liquid from MoFi and a stiff brush, and that is not recommended by many manufacturers. So this is a very safe alternative. Um, and having it right at the beginning of this cartridge's life is really reassuring um, that this is going to be always clean and last as long as possible. 
Um, the stylus timer is gonna tell me other information that is gonna it's going to be beneficial for the cartridge life. So all in all, these two accessories are very exciting to me. I'm, I'm really delighted I found them and I'm delighted I started using them immediately. Um, there's links in the description box below for the DS Audio as well. Um, it's a little pricey. It's $80, but um, I the way I look at it is uh, it's so well designed and so effective that you know, if you're spending any amount of money on a decent cartridge, which, you know, is probably going to be at least $300, you know, the, the Hannah 750, there's a 1250, 1200 version, you know, and up and up, 80 bucks is nothing to keep it in tip top shape. So uh, definitely consider both of these um, if you're getting a new cartridge. Um, if you're looking for a new stylus cleaner, this is highly recommended. Um, I'll have more information on the HANA coming up. But until next time, this is Scott for The Pressing Matters. Thank you for watching and have a great day.